And when you come in, Tilly, you have the box and you have the trophy. Okay? Beatrice, you're off stage. You're going to come down the stairs. And remember that you have been drinking. And so that's still there. We talk about arts education, obviously I'm an arts advocate, and we talk about 21st century skills. And we, within those 21st century skills, you're supposed to teach critical thinking, collaboration, creativity, and what's the other one that this is? Communication. The arts, they're just not theater, but the arts do all of that. Arts education that sometimes at other schools gets cut. We're very blessed that arts education, the kids here, come to Parrot Academy and from transition on up, they're getting some kind of arts in their life, which will make a difference for those, for those kids. The arts is important because, for multiple reasons, but they spend their whole day in very academic classes in math and science, and the brain is very two-sided, so you really need the creative inspirational side of your brain in order to be a complete human being. You know, what I see is that these kids, they, they can be having this awful day and a day that, you know, as an adult, I've had those days, but they can walk into this building and completely have a change of heart and a change of just the way they feel because they're in an environment where they can completely be themselves. They can take out whatever frustrations, anger, happiness, joy, whatever they have and just put it into um, the piano or a piece of art or in the guitar and acting and it just allows that kid to be what they want to be. Music in particular is a way to express yourself like no other and you develop a wonderful sense of being and a wonderful sense of self and you become comfortable with One, expressing two, yourself in a new way. A good day in my classroom, the students come in, they get ready to dance, we have a full workout and we are creative and we inspire each other and then we barely, barely, barely uh, get done before the bell rings, <laughs> and then they head to their next class happy and loving life. The students inspire me. I, I, it's such a joy to get to have a student in my classroom for 14 years, to be able to watch them grow from the child that's just struggling to figure out how to unpack the instrument to students that by the time they graduate, I'm not really teaching them, we're collaborating together. The arts contribute to the whole development of the child. And I, we have a, a saying in our, posted in our lobby, our front lobby at Parrot, that says you can go anywhere from here. And that's what arts education is about. Uh, students are learning um, music of the classical period. They're learning music of the romantic period of all. And then also they're, they're getting to, in my, in my particular class, they're getting to play music that they like, um, that they listen to and it gives them an opportunity to perform and it is a huge self-esteem um, booster is what that is. Draw the shape of her face and then if this isn't right in the end what you originally did that's okay you're not confined by this it's just going to help you it's kind of like a road map. A lot of times if we give a child a set project with instructions and a demonstration Sometimes you will look over and there's a child doing something completely different that nobody else in the room is doing, but you'll look over and you'll see that what they're doing is actually a masterpiece or something really creative and you don't want to tell them no or you don't want to tell them that's wrong. I want to just take a look at what they're doing and maybe show them how they can take that creativity and make it into something better. They're, they're, they're sponges, they're just sponges. They just, they just absorb it. So go ahead and just pour it on the sponge and let them take it in. And first graders, same thing. I, I'm kind of stunned by that. So it's really important that you give them the arts very early on.